What's good? We back with another boxing clinic and more video. This is the and more part. As you mostly, you guys know, we do more than boxing and a lot of boxing, but a lot of other stuff as well. We here. One of my subscribers asked me to um to talk about the Troy Eggman and Skip Bayless beef and why Troy Eggman hates Skip Bayless so much. And um, most people may uh, might agree uh, with uh, Troy Eggman's stance. And um, when Skip Bayless got hired to Fox. Troy Aikman, you know, said, you know, said some things, say he was talentless, you know, you know, he didn't have no merit. He was, he was garbage reporter. And, um, if you didn't know, Skip Bayless built his, uh, he built himself up as a journalist in Dallas and, um, Colin, obviously he's a big Dallas Cowboy fan building his cloud up in Dallas. And, um, a lot of the reporters, according to the article, I'm leaving the description for you guys. So, you know, this trio didn't like Skip Bayless cause he didn't go to the bar and drink with him. Cause we know Skip don't drink at all. Um, he don't do certain things, you know, he was a loner, you know, and, um, he was a true journalist and, um, he was one of the most popular journalists in, um, in, in that Dallas area. You know, he even, you know, uh, uh, he even was writing for the, uh, those Dallas Carter boys, uh, when they went on the 30 for 30, when they went on the, uh, the Robin spree and, and they was, uh, getting threatened with, uh, being eliminated, you know, through the playoffs, through a teacher line and saying, or, you know, saying that he he, he he curved the grading scale for one of the players. Skip Bayless wrote an article supporting them saying that uh he thought uh he thought they let the kids play and stop getting in the way. Um it appeared in the thirty for thirty uh, you know, thing and they did the thirty for thirty movie theater, uh, the Carter Boys in Dallas movie theaters for one night about that team. And uh Skip Bayless made a cameo in there with an article article that he wrote and he had huge clout down there and uh wheeled his way to na national prominence and um now he's sitting pretty in the cockpit, but on his way up, he used to write books on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, the first one was about Tom Landry and not being as good of a guy as it was portrayed. Second one was about the Jerry Jones and um, Jimmy Johnson relationship falling apart. And the third one was it was called Hellbent. It was a, it was a tail end of the Dallas Cowboys, um, you know, Barry Switzer career, or whatever I think it was. That's what it was. It was about that. And uh, in the book, you know, he claimed that you know you know Barry Switzer. Or some people that that were close to him uh, said that you know Troy Eggman was gay, and um, and Troy Eggman you know didn't like that you know uh, of course who would like that? He never said in a book that he thought that Troy Eggman was gay, but he said it, it, rumors were circling circulating around you know Barry Switzer camp that Eggman was gay in, in Switzer, and Eggman had beef you know uh, we know Barry Switzer you know pretty much you know ran, you know Jimmy picked off with Jimmy Johnson left off. And won a championship with with that Cowboys team, and apparently, you know, you know, Troy and and Barry Switzer, you know, didn't have a good relationship, um, you know, and you know, he said people around Barry Switzer or Barry Switzer himself, whatever, however he worded it, he put out in the book, and he was a very popular journalist by this time, especially in the Dallas area, in his Hellbent book, that you know, Troy Eggman was a fun boy, you know, he was gay, and Troy Eggman disputed that, and anytime somebody makes a claim. Or says it's a rumor going around that he's gay. Most people are gonna read it and run with it and, and, and spend their own uh, context on it. So people just, you know, now it's out there that he's gay, you know. And they 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 uh kind of wrote in a book that uh he spent times with his friends all the time. And who don't? What guy don't? You know, want to spend times with his boys? And he said, "What I gotta do? Have a girl with me all the time?" He said, "I don't have to do that." He said he called and told him that I'm not gay. And um, I guess he proceeded to put it in the book still or, you know, he couldn't take it out the book because it was a book. And, um, you know, that's where a lot of the the negative energy towards Troy Eggman to Skip Bayless started. And if Skip Bayless, he said, you know, even he said it was no credence to to, you know, Troy being gay. It was the fact that, you know, it was going to make the book sale. That's all it was. And, you know, Skip said, it's not fair to me for people say that I say he was gay. But you put the idea out there in the book. And now people running off with it, and it's forever embedded in history that, you know, most people think Troy I mean, was gay, even though it was no, it was no traction to it. It was no proof. He didn't have a lover. He didn't have, you know, a boyfriend on the side that dropped him. This was Barry Switzer hating on Troy Eggman. The people around Barry Switzer hating on Troy Eggman, you know? And of course, just off that right there, I'm not fucking with Skip Bayless, you know, if I'm Troy Eggman. And it didn't stop there. You know, the second part was the fact that, you know, people around Barry Switzer, once again, you didn't hear nothing from Jimmy Johnson. Because he had left the team, whatever. This is people from Barry Switzer camp had a problem with Troy Aikman for whatever reason. 
that he called one of the Dallas Cowboys receivers. I forget his name. It's in an article that I leaked in the description. Uh, N word. He called him a nigger or a nigger, whatever it was. And uh, Skip Bayless put that in the book. Said Barry Switzer called. You know, Trey Edmonds was heated one day, and I guess the guy. I don't know what he did. Didn't write the run the right route. Pissed Troy off, and they said Troy Edmonds dropped the bomb and called him that. And that alone is is equally worse, especially looking back in hindsight and, and the race war that's going on in America, and you know wherever around the world. When, you know, people go back and say, oh, damn, you know, Troy called this guy N-word. And Troy is seen as, as a lovable guy in the Dallas area, which is a melting pot for whites, blacks, and, every, and, and Mexicans, Latinos, whatever you want to call it. And he, he accused him as being a gay and a racist. That's two of the worst things that you can be almost out here in, in this world and being perception. Said he was mad with the receiver. And this all came from Barry Switzer Camp or, or Barry Switzer himself, an like unnamed and anonymous, you know, people. And um, that's pretty much why Trey Eggman hates Skip Bayless. I would hate him, too. Because um, when he got hired to Fox, he couldn't believe that Fox, he called the CEO or whatever, said, why are you hiring this guy? He's not credible. Nobody likes him. He don't know shit. And a lot of people believe that about Skip Bayless. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he was very irate. And then, like, he quit Fox he got a good gig. He's the number one, part of the number one commentating team for Fox. And they get all the number one games of the week. But, um, you know. Yes, in the test of time, and I feel why Trey Eggman's angry, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Remember, the article link is in the description. Click on it.